The gorgeous bucolic countryside of Norfolk is home to the Wherry Lines, picturesque branch lines running between Norwich and the seaside towns of Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft. And on these lines runs a very special, very unique train. A train that has attracted fans from across the country to travel to East Anglia in search of it. A train featuring two nearly 50-year-old diesel locomotives packing a combined total of 3,500 horsepower, producing a thunderous sound that has to be heard to be believed. Folks, allow me to introduce you to the Class 37 East Anglia short set, my favourite train in Britain. and welcome to Norwich Station. Loki, one of my favourite stations in the country this, see? I've kind of had a long-standing connection with the Norfolk area as a whole anyway, because it's where, when I was little, and even now, my family used to go on holiday, so every year we'd end up in the, the countryside, on the broads, on the coast or everything. Norfolk is kind of my happy place, I love the area. And indeed, that's kind of how I find myself here today. I'm on family holiday in Norfolk. but. I'm also here for a very specific train. I'll tell you a little bit about Norwich Terminus. It has intercity services from London Liverpool Street, so that's the big express, the electric express in the background there, you can see there. And if we just have a look around, there's a unit back there. That's for the little branch lines down to the coast, and to Lowestoft, and to... Like, what's that? What, what is... What, what is this doing here? That is a nearly 50 year old British Rail diesel locomotive pulling a three coach train. And oh, by the way, there's another one of those on the back. This is the East Anglia short set. It's a train that in theory doesn't make any sense, but I love the fact that it exists. And today, we're gonna have a ride on this most unusual, but most wonderful of trains. The East Anglia short set is comprised of two Class 37 diesel locomotives and between two and three British Rail Mark II coaches, all hired from direct rail services. Originally introduced in summer 2015 to cover shortfalls in diesel multiple unit stock, the short set has remained in constant operation since then and remains to this day a true anomaly of the modern railway landscape. Now the official reason given for why Greater Anglia introduced these trains and hired the two Class 37s from direct rail services was due to a lack of DMUs to operate the line. I believe one or two units got damaged by trees or something and they needed something to cover. But there's a couple of other things that, when you think about it logically, don't make much sense. One, they must have the units back in service now. Do they still need to run these? And secondly, a Class 37 is a big powerful freight locomotive. 1,750 horsepower. It can haul three coaches on its own. That's like the world's strongest man lifting a bag of sugar. So why do you need two? Some people seem to think that it's because of a lack of run-round loops at the station. So, you know, one loco on the front wouldn't be able to reverse around and, and go on the other end of the train and come back. Some other people think it's to get the acceleration quicker. I've never really had a firm answer. One of these locomotives is more than powerful enough to haul three coaches. Two is just insanity. On the modern railway landscape, where so much of it is about efficiency and doing things the most effective way, this seems like kind of taking a blunderbuss to a mound of dirt to weed your garden. But I love the fact that it exists. And one of my favorite things about this train is the fact that these old British Rail Mark 2D coaches have opening windows, which means Especially if you're behind the locomotive like I am right now, you get to experience... Well, it's not really a noise. It's more a sort of... thunder. After a rapid and rather loud trip out to Great Yarmouth and back, I stopped off at Brundle Station for a spot of lunch. It'd be rude not to on a day like today. And whilst waiting for the short set to return, I got thinking further about just why this train holds such a special place in the hearts of many, including me.
So the more I think about it, the more it occurs to me just how much of an anomaly or an oddity the short set really is. Because apparently there have been noise complaints from residents on the line, which in this case kind of fair enough. You know, you, you expect a certain amount of noise from passing trains. But then these came along and they are extra, extra loud, as I think I've demonstrated quite well. So you can kind of understand that. Apparently they, they cost quite a bit to loan out from DRS. I don't know the exact figure. But on the other hand, it's an attraction in itself. People come up here to visit the short set, to see it, to spot it, to film it, to, photo uh, to take photos of it. It's an attraction in itself. For as much as it's not 100% efficient at being a current modern train for this service, it's also special. And I say it once and I say it again, I love the fact that it exists. I love the fact that it is even a thing. Anyway, enough waxing lyrical. Let's head back up to Norwich and pick up a very special guest. As a tradition for these videos, I generally have like a buddy with me, a guest, a companion, and my one sort of turned up a bit late. But he's here, it's my dad. There he is. How are you doing? Evening, afternoon. Whatever time he doesn't yeah, know what time. time he doesn't know what time it is. But how are you doing? You're right. I'm all right. You're good. Yeah. You, do you like the 37 over there? It's uh, extremely awesome. Yeah, it's extremely awesome. Yeah. A bit of old school heavy metal. I was gonna say my dad is an OG rail enthusiast from back in the day. An OG spotter. I'm not jealous of the fact you got to like ride behind westerns and stuff in the past fifties, but. I mean, this is doing all right, right? Yes, this is all right. What I think is really funny is that on the day we were filming this, we've been kind of planning this for months, because I kept, I've done this before, and I kept making you really jealous telling you about it, didn't I? And then it was like, well, we're going on holiday this week, we'll be able to do it then. And then the news came out that potentially the weekend before we're filming this, they were going to be replaced. And you were just like, really? But luckily, still here. it's stuck around for you. <laughs> all in, I'll put in a request. Don't, yeah, wait, around here. Don't, don't dish him yet, come on. No, no, it works. Not until Skip's seen him. So, uh, should we go check it out? Should we give him a bash? Yeah. Yeah, let's give him a bash. so far in this video and I'm glad you're here for this because you have some experience in it. The class 37 actually has a lot of history with the region because for many years this was the train, this was the locomotive. Class 37's worked all over the region. Am I right in thinking back in your spotter days as a kid if you went to London Liverpool Street? Yep, that was where you went for your 37s. Uh, yep. Split head code mainly. Okay. Zero series. Yep, yep. Um, based out of Stratford. If you wanted 37 all each as a Londoner. Yep. Um, you either have to get, out, get yourself out to the South Wales Valleys, okay. which was a bit of a schlep, <laughs> or uh, Liverpool Street. Yeah, they hauled the intercity trains up until, I think Nor the route to Norwich was only electrified in 1986. Yeah, something like that. So they were working up there, and they've sort of always been around. So I guess in a way this is kind of quite a car. Yeah, full circle. It's also full noise. <laughs> there is that it's as well. can't beat the noise. <laughs> My dad departed the train at Reedham, leaving me to trundle on down to Lowestoft, enjoy the glorious evening sunset, it really was a lovely day, and get all starry-eyed one more time about my long-standing love of the short set. So you know me, a lot of times in these videos they come from somewhere quite personal to me, they mean a lot to me, there's something quite special and that's why I want to share them all with you and this one's kind of no exception, see? There's a funny story as to how I even came to discover that this train was a thing. Me and my family have been to Reedham on holiday a few times and we've generally stayed at this lovely little place and the second time I went up there with my family was in 2016 and one day I didn't have anything else on so I went out with my DSLR camera to take some pictures of the trains trundling around because it just so happened where we were staying it was right next to the swing bridge where the line to lowest off crosses over the broad and then this train rumbled around the corner I've even got footage of it. Splice it in right now. This is the video I took of it back then. And I remember thinking, what on earth is that? And that was how I discovered it. And I remember going home from holiday being fascinated, thinking, 
I, I need to know everything about this. This is just no normal train. What is this? Why does it need two locomotives? Why everything? That's what's led me to come up here multiple times since to bash this train tell friends about it and now I've made this video for you to kind of illustrate how with a lot of these I just want to tell the world like that these mean these are cool things to me and here's why this is a special train they know they're on camera they know yeah we can hear you they're putting on a nice show for me and you aren't they <laughs> Ultimately, what makes the short set so brilliant is how much it feels like a product of another time. In a present with less and less loco haul trains than ever, with more and more shiny new stock arriving, the short set feels like the ultimate throwback that still feels fresh and vibrant somehow. I've met people who have traveled from all over the country just to ride this one train. And despite constant warnings of impending replacement, it's continued to rumble on far longer than most assumed it would. Even now, as new Stadler stock is being ready for introduction, the short set was slated to be retired back in May, just before we originally recorded this video. But guess what? At time of publication of this video in July, the 37s continue to call the Wherry Lines home. Eventually, very soon, the short set will depart East Anglia for good. And for what was originally supposed to be a temporary solution, what a legacy this train will leave behind. I've been AJ, this has been another station another mile, We'll see you next time.